And uh, we do have vacuum leak. It was detected, a small vacuum leak. It all relates to this guy. I diagnosed it and I found that um, poor solenoid well doesn't seal properly. And here's a very small leak detected. And uh, yeah, we have a new one. We need to replace it, this to get rid of that engine light. But before, hey, but before we get started, we need to diagnose another one. This one, I checked, this one is in working order. And uh, how you check it, you just supply the power to the terminal. And when valve is closed, you shouldn't be able to blow through. And you can hear the click. Now valve is open and you should be able to blow through. Problem with mine was that valve got stuck in open position and couldn't hold the vacuum yeah you can hear the noise this one actually is functioning properly as you can see I have a piece of new vacuum hose which is a, be a replacement for old cracked dried one this one is the brand almost like a brand new we'll replaced all those little hoses around okay well let's measure how much hose do we need to replace the old broken dry creepy one yeah and uh, see how it fits all right here's a little electrical connector with a, a clip you just push pressed in and then you pull it out like this it's nice and easy i love this volvo design it never fails it's so solid and strong and keeps the connectors in place uh, we do need this little piece i got three centimeters and also we're replacing this guy which goes to this t-joint junction i use a little bit uh, penetrating oil to loop the end of the hose to make it slide a little bit easier it's the yeah, old one was hard to remove it was dry solid rubber here we go this is how you replace the fruit solenoid valve and uh, two little hoses one on the bottom over here and this long one which goes straight to the your air intake and also put a new one here this one was cracked all right thank you for watching i hope it will help you one day see ya